did I just order it to the wrong Apple store? Yeah. Alright, hi guys. Good morning. It is iPhone pickup day. Again, we actually went to pick up my boyfriend's iPhone 15 Pro yesterday. I'm not sure if that video's up yet. It might be up in like a week or so but today i'm picking up my iphone 15 pro max from the apple store and we messed up with this pre-order so bad i thought i ordered it to a closer apple store it kept selling out so i was so stressed okay we're starting over the order is only eligible for delivery like I just placed it in my basket and picked out an Apple store and then when I went to check out it said it wasn't available in that Apple store so it kept like getting further and further away and eventually there was only one Apple store left where the iPhone 15 Pro Max was available and I thought this city was closer to us but honestly I didn't pay a lot of attention because I was so stressed out I was like this is my last chance to get this iPhone 15 Pro Max if I want to get it like in time because right now I think the waiting time is like two months or something it's crazy but yeah so basically I just went to check out like I did not have time to think so then yesterday when I get my like pickup email that my iPhone is available for pickup I go to my travel app and and I put it in and I see my trip is like three hours and I'm like did I just order it to the wrong Apple store which I did so today we're taking a little road trip to pick up this iphone but yeah i guess we're gonna try to make it a fun fun little adventure instead of instead of just being mad that i picked the wrong apple store so yeah it's currently sunday almost 9 a.m and my pickup time was actually yesterday but since we realized it was like so far away we had to plan a whole trip and stuff so we're just gonna go today and i hope i can pick it up i mean it says it's available in store for seven days, so it should be fine. Alright, so this is the road trip outfit. It's actually pretty chilly outside. Let me check the weather. It's 16 degrees. I'll put the Fahrenheit here. It definitely got so cold in Australia. Like it was 35 degrees and it just switched up to 16 all of a sudden. So yeah, I'm wearing a long sleeve. I have a little cardigan with me and then also a jacket because it's like the worst being on a road trip and freezing. So I just want to be prepared. And then some soft leggings from Glassons. And then my broken converse because I can afford a new iPhone but not a new pair of shoes. <laughs> so yeah, I think we're ready to go. <laughs>
Is it your turn? iPhone but on the way there we were actually close to being in a crash like I'm not even kidding so we were on the freeway and a car is like switching lanes right next to us she's not even looking I think like over her shoulder because she just starts drifting into our lane like into our car she's like right next to us and before she notices she's like she's so close to actually hitting us like we have to scoot over so yeah just be careful out there but anyways we made it to the apple store that would not have been fun being in an accident on our way to pick up a new iphone but yeah so the iphone i got was the iphone 15 pro max in natural titanium and this is actually not the color i wanted to get i really want to get the black titanium but they were sold out and then i was gonna go with the white one but they were sold out of that one as well so this was actually was not my first choice i'm just not too sure about this color because on the apple website it kind of looks like a gold color but with more gray in it but then when you see it in like when people film it and take photos of it it really looks just gray it doesn't have like any gold in it so i think it would just rather have a black iphone than a gray one but this old you will probably be so pretty i've heard multiple people saying when they unbox it they think it's so pretty so hopefully that's what i'm gonna think but when i did look at it in the apple store i was not a big fan honestly and i know like the color of the iphone is definitely not the most important thing you're probably not gonna see it anyways i'm gonna have a case on anyways but i mean for an expensive device like this you, you probably do want to get it in the color you want so we'll see if i absolutely don't like it i'll probably return it and switch to another color oh i guess maybe you can see here on the side this usually reflects the color of the iphone and this is definitely a gray i don't know if you can tell but it definitely doesn't have like any gold in it at all oh here you can also see it's like definitely a gray it's also so fun going to apple stores here in australia this was a new one i'd never been before and <laughs> the guy asked me the guy helping us oh am i gonna be on youtube and i was about to tell him like yeah but i can blur out your face if you don't want to be on it but <laughs> before i could say it he was like hi guy <laughs> <laughs> This is so funny and then like, everyone just wanted to be on camera and i feel like in sweden and just in europe it's like the totally opposite people do not want to be on camera at all but yeah i just hope this is gonna be worth the four hour drive today because i would hate to unbox it and 
just be disappointed when we actually traveled so far for it. All right, so we're gonna have a pizza night and we started making our own pizza recently, like the dough from scratch. So I thought I'd show you how we make it. And my boyfriend just made this beautiful pizza sauce, also homemade. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And this is like a healthy pizza recipe, I guess, but it's really good. Yes. We're just gonna need flour. I'll put the measurements here for two pizzas. And then nutritional yeast and some Greek yogurt and then salt and garlic powder for taste. So now that we have our dough, this is like the best part of the pizza. So we're gonna fill the crust with cheese. So basically what you do is you just spread out a layer of cheese around the edges and then you start like folding it in. Yeah, you basically just fold it in like that and go around the whole pizza. So then after we added the tomato sauce and cheese, we're gonna add toppings. So I like to do, oh my god, that was not good. So I like to do sun-dried tomatoes. And then my boyfriend likes pepperoni. And then to top it off, we're just gonna do some basil. And yeah, it looks so good. So these are just gonna go in the oven for like 20 minutes. time for me to go to bed but thank you so much for hanging out with me I'm going to pick up the new iphone 15 and stay tuned for the unboxing video it's gonna be up in my next video but yeah thank you for watching and i'll see you next time bye <laughs>